हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो ऑफ फाइबर टू फैब्रिक पार्ट टू इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय आर्यभट नेशनल पब्लिक स्कूल इन द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फाइबर्स इट्स टाइप्स एंड हाउ फैब्रिक इज प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम फाइबर्स इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट some animal fibers and the first animal fiber that we get is wool it is an animal fiber that is obtained from the fleece of animals like sheep goat yak rabbit etc and what is this fleece you have maybe uh, you, you are not familiar with fleece the word fleece but what is fleece fleece is called the thick covering of wool of the wool yielding animal the hair i will explain it to you again the hair that is present on the body of the wool yielding animals whether it is sheep whether it is goat yak rabbit that hair present on the wool yielding animal that is called fleece the thick covering of the hair is called fleece wool is obtained from that fleece of animals the wool is mostly obtained if you talk about our uh, india in our country the wool is mostly obtained from the fleece of sheep sheep has two types of hair on his body the upper part of the hair is called the coarse beard hair and the under part of that hair is called soft under hair for obtaining dif different variety of wool sheep are reared and breeded the different quality the different varieties of sheep provides us different quality of wool the merino breed of sheep provides us the finest wool rearing and breeding of sheep for wool to get wool on the commercial level sheep are reared that is we keep sheep on our farms and from time to and we feed them we breed them and from time to time we take out the fleece and from that fleece the wool is obtained rearing what is rearing we have earlier discussed all we have discussed it earlier also that the process of breeding feeding and providing care it, it is any kind of care for for feeding them we provide good quality of food to them we breed them we provide medical care to them and why this is done for obtaining wool this is called rearing we these animals are kept 
since they produce us they gives us useful products therefore we keep them we breed them we feed them we provide medical care to them this is called rearing on a commercial level and breeding to get different quality good quality of wool we breed them some special breeds of sheep are chosen to give birth what is breeding some special breeds of sheep are chosen to give birth to the sheep which have woolly soft under hair because the coarse hair the the wool obtained from the coarse hair nobody likes it people like soft wool therefore for getting soft wool we breed them this process of selecting parent for obtaining special characters of offsprings is called as selective breeding we do selective breeding to obtain good quality of wool to get the most to get the best quality of wool it is necessary to select the best quality of wool yielding parent in selective breeding we choose the best quality of parent and this process of selecting parent in order to obtain good quality of wool in their offsprings offspring means their young ones offspring means the young ones or babies is termed as selective breeding to obtain wool we rear them we breed them sheep are mainly reared for wool in australia where this rearing and breeding is done on large scale because these countries have is that type of environment therefore sheep are mainly reared for wool in australia in middle east in south american continent and europe in india rearing of sheep are done in jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh sikkim arunachal pradesh rajasthan gujarat and haryana are there only sheep for that we get wool from no there are other animals also from which we obtain wool what are those animals we can obtain wool from camel alpasa and llama these animals are found in south america we can also obtain wool from yak yak wool is very famous that yak is present in tibet and ladakh we get wool from kashmiri goats the wool that is obtained from kashmiri goats are called pashmina i'm sure you have heard this name pashmina angura goat there is another type of goat named angura goat angura goat gives us fine fiber that is called mohair angura rabbit also provides us wool that is very expensive tibetan antelope tibetan antelope that is also known as jiru gives us fine wool that wool is named shahtoosh shahtoosh is called the king of fine wools because these ant tibetan antelopes gives us very fine wool they were hunted and killed to obtain the hair for their delicate hair 
for this wool as a result the population of these antelopes decreased the government has banned the use of selling shawls made from shahtoosh production of wool how wool is produced we have discussed it earlier how that how fiber is converted into fabric the first step is we obtain fibers from fiber yielding animals or fiber yielding natural sources or synthetic sources the second step is that fiber is drawn into yarn and in the third step that yarn is used for weaving or knitting but from wool these are the steps that are involved in the production of wool the first step is called shearing what is the shearing the first step to get uh, woolen fi uh, fabric is we remove the fleece of the sheep this process is termed as shearing the removal of fleece of a sheep along with a very thin layer of skin here in the diagram you can see this wool is removed from this sheep the fleece is removed from this sheep with a very thin layer of its skin this process is called shearing in shearing we remove all the fleece of the sheep the hair provides us woolen fibers that are then processed to obtain woolen yarn the second process in obtaining wool from fiber is scouring what is this scouring the process of washing because when we obtain that fleece of the sheep it has dirt it has dust it has grease that have to be washed the process of washing the hair the process of washing the hair to remove dirt dust and grease is called scouring the second term is scouring first shearing in the second step washing of that fleece is called scouring here in the diagram itself you can see these fleece are washed to remove all the dirt dust and grease the third step in the third step it is called grading and sorting in this process we categorize the coarse hair is removed the fine hair is separated according to length according to texture according to color the wool is sorted out this process is called grading in the fourth step this sorted wool is colored in this process the fiber is dyed according to our desired color whatever color we need the wool is the that fiber the woolen fiber is dyed in that color the dyed fiber is then straightened after that after dyeing it is straightened in the figure you can see the dyed fiber is then straightened this process of straightening the dyed fiber is called carding for straightening the woolen fiber is um, the woolen fiber is uh, uh, made to go from a metal metallic teeth of a machine from that they are straightened the next process is the next step is drying 
after the above processes the woolen fibers are dried and sent for spinning into yarn the next process is the longest fiber after drying after completing all these processes shearing scoring carding and sorting dyeing and drying the longest fibers are made into wool for sweaters and the shorter fibers are spun and woven into woolen cloths this is all in this part of the video in the next part of the video we will discuss about the another animal fiber that is called silk thank you for watching